Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to go over the picks and approach to this weekend's uh, Circa Million slate. Um, talk about last week a little bit. And again, what we're trying to accomplish here is, is winning this contest, right? And, and again, if you're coming here expecting, you know, let's see who I like for the week, it's just, it's just not like that, okay? Uh, we're, we're not trying to beat the bookmaker here. We're trying to beat the other participants. So what we're trying to accomplish <laughs> in the analysis is to figure out who everybody's likely to take and play the other side. Remember, the, the overarching presumption here is that the lines are efficient um, and that if we can get on the right side of the ledger, more people playing the other side of the games that we're playing and our sides being low owned, that we're, we have an edge. Okay, And that's it. Um, for me, I've always found it much easier to do that than to actually try to beat the line, so to speak. Um, so, uh, first of all, as far as results go, first week we went four and one. Last week we went two, 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 two and one. Um, but again, while those that's important for what we're trying to do here, it's much more important to figure out whether we're making good plays with respect to leverage. Like for example, these are the picks. These are the the, uh, the spreads for this week. We'll review last week, and I, I'm I'm really upset. Okay, and here here's the idea about being results oriented, not being results oriented. I'm going to go over the picks that I made and the plays that we made. First of all, we played the Eagles because we figured they, they were um, it was the the spread we like. We like to play these six point dogs. Six, six and a half point dogs, two, two and a half point dogs, like to play road teams, like to play teams against uh, popular looking teams. And as far as Thursday goes, it was really, I, I, the Thursday games are always really low on. So if there's all else being equal, you should probably try to take a Thursday game in this type of contest. Um, got a little bit unlucky with the line because everywhere else in the world, this line was six and a half. Uh, and we got the uh, we had it land on six as a push, but overall, very very good pick because only 219 people put, took them. As far as our others, we took the Seahawks, and I have to say I was a little surprised that um, they were as chalky as they were. Um, again, I would have liked it as a weird you know if it was six and a half, that's more of a, a kind of a contrarian line. Um, not to say that that particular spread would have ever been six and a half, but um, so there was a little bit of uh, of worry that it was a little too chalky, but not too chalky, but not as low on enough. But I really didn't expect this much ownership on Seattle. I guess people just really just were expecting more of a bounce back for Seattle. The other thing you have to think about again is that what types of teams, what teams in general are teams that people like to play. And I still think there's, I guess there must be some Lions backlash though from all those years of people not wanting to play them. Um, we also played the Bears. Um, we lost with them. I forget that what happened. Again, I was, they're, they're, they're low, they're low, I'm, you know, on the low, low arrow on side, I guess, but I was expecting them to be a lot less popular. I was expecting people just to take the bucks, lay the two and a half. Uh, we played the, who else did we play? We played the Patriots. Um, they were, I figured they were getting two and a half. It's a good spread. People like to just only lay the two and a half. I would prefer to have been on the road because people like to play home teams. And I keep forgetting that people do like to, you know, they, people still have a lot of back respect for, um, for what's his name, for Belichick. So that was probably a mistake. I, I probably should avoid the Patriots if I possibly can. And then this was the this was the horrible play. I mean, it was just terrible. We played the Steelers, and I played the Steelers. Sorry, and yeah, I know they won, but but again, this was hopeless. I knew it too. Okay, I I, I thought that the spread of two and a half people wouldn't mind just laying it with 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 Cleveland, seeing as the San Francisco just pounded on Pittsburgh the week before. But what I forgot was that everybody played Pittsburgh the week before which means to me that Pittsburgh is just a public type of team. And Pittsburgh is, is just always a team that people like to play. And, and I, um, you know, this is a big mistake playing them. And it looks, look, they were one of the most high, highest owned teams on the whole slate. 
they ended up winning. So I'm, you know, I'm sure I'd rather win than not, but that's a mistake. So we learned a little something from last week. We learned that people, that, that the, the, the public is definitely interested in the lines, but they, they really just like their teams. You know, they like their popular teams and they just don't like playing bad teams. Like for example, you see the Cardinals, they're like the lowest owned team on the slate, on the Sunday slate by a lot. And that's uh, that's two weeks in a row. So I am probably going to, to step on that. Um, considering also that the, that the Giants were down 20 and they came back to win, they didn't cover. But still, I mean, it just cemented the Cardinals as being just in a terrible team in people's heads. So I think that almost blindly, you could play Arizona every week in this pool. Um, uh, and if you could ever get them at, the, at you know the right spread or whatever it is like that, it's even better. So that's what we learned. Let's take a look at this week. This week, here are the point spreads. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to go, we're going to, you know, look at the spreads and, you know, talk through this kind of, you know, narrative bit, narratively. But let's for also look at some of these consensus uh, plays on the other side. So some of these sites that track consensus plays, just want to get an idea of what's going on here. So looks as though Seattle's uh, very consensus play and, Ooh, they're getting six, giving six points, which is what we like. You know, we like going against teams like this. Uh, Miami, six and a half, pretty good. Um, again, we like these six and a half point underdogs, and they look to be consensus uh, owned. Dallas, yep, against Arizona. Uh, people love playing the Cowboys. They they were anti Arizona the whole time, so Arizona is going to look pretty good. Um, Detroit. Uh, their consensus looks good, but, but you know, that three-point line, we're not playing for pushes. Kansas City, 63% owned um, in this in this sample. Pretty good uh, spread, meaning 12 is like within that 14 thing. We'll get to that in a minute. And then it's kind of a drop. So uh, as far as the consensus picks, like they're, they're, they're the early tracking. Uh, so Seattle would be consensus, so we'd want to play Carolina. Miami would play consensus, so we want to play Denver. Dallas would be consensus, so we want to play Arizona. Detroit would be consensus, we'd want to play Atlanta, but the, the push line is, is really not good. And then you have um, these 63 percenters, like Kansas City, that might not be bad to play Chicago. Buffalo against Washington, that's pretty good too, good spread. We'll talk through that a little bit more. So again, let's let's use that as our kind of background to get back into the into the analysis of the actual board here. So this is week three contest spreads. And again, let's see which of these kind of fit our profile. First things first, right off the bat, we have to consider the Thursday game. And considering it's going to be low owned, um, this is a very, very strong opportunity. Now, it's not perfect. And the reason why it's not perfect is that um, two things. Number one, this 10 and a half thing, okay? As I mentioned, these key numbers, people like to play favorites when it's, say, nine and a half. But when it gets to 10 and a half, people are inclined to play the other side. But I just have to think, considering that the Niners have looked so good the first two weeks, and considering how just awful the Giants looked week one, and they were on the verge of losing, on the verge of getting blown out by Arizona, that you have to think that no one's taking the Giants. You have to. So even though the spread is not what it is it's supposed to be, um, I I think the Giants are really strong circuit play this week. So I'm probably going to play them. Um, then uh, let's look at some of these others. Vikings laying one to the Chargers. No, I don't really see any lean one way or the other. Browns minus three and a half. That's the wrong spread. Again, we like the two and a half point underdogs. If anything, I might like Cleveland, but not really. Um, okay, Jacksonville minus nine against the Texans. All right, that's not bad because you have the Texans who are just looking really bad. The Jaguars, you know, listen, they lost to Kansas City, but people still are up on them in general. And you have that nine-point spread, which I like. Um, so I think Jacksonville could get some, some business here. So I think Texans are in play. It's not perfect, but I'm certainly considering that within my kind of pool. Uh, Patriots, Jets, um, 
don't know, the, the Jets home dog against the Patriots, that actually is not the worst thing in the world. Considering that the Patriots, they took some steam this week. Maybe, again, Belichick is still kind of revered and gets some action. So I think the Jets are definitely in play. Uh, Packers minus two against the Saints. Uh, Saints has come off a win like that. I don't think that we want to deal with this game. Dolphins Broncos. This is the one we looked at earlier where they're rating the Dolphins with consent with the high consensus. And, you know, this makes sense because the Dolphins won, I'd say fairly, I don't say handily, whatever they, they ran all over Miami. And then you have the Broncos who look just awful. Okay. So they had this game one against the, the Redskins or excuse me, the, the commanders. And they just choked so hard two in a row losing at home and now going on the road. And it's only six and a half. They're just, begging you to take Miami. And I think people are going to do it. So I like Denver a lot. Uh, Bills commanders. All right. Um, what this game has going for it is you have the team that people love and that the Bills. You have a team people really don't love in, that com- in the commanders. And you also have the perfect spread at six and a half. What you don't have is number one, you have the, the problem is number one, that they're a home team. And people do like to play home teams. And they are 2-0. and So maybe their bills are not going to be as popular as I think. But we'll put the commanders in the pool. Right? We'll put the commanders in the pool. And we'll see what happens. Uh, Lions, three points spread. It's a pick them. You know, it's it's a push spread. I'm not doing it. Ravens, it's the wrong spread. Eight. I mean, if anything, I would like the Colts because the Ravens are the popular type team. Colts, everybody hates. But eight points, No. Seahawks Panthers. Um, I think this is a really good spot for Carolina. You know, it's it's six and a half. Uh, people are just saw Seattle win on the road. Uh, they won a nice overtime game, and as we saw last week, Seattle. Although I thought they were going to be low owned, it turns out they're pretty popular. So maybe Seattle's a team that people are on. So I like the Panthers a lot. Um, Cowboys Cardinals. Uh, this is sort of perfect in that. The Cowboys, everybody loves the Cowboys. And as I mentioned before, Cardinals are just the worst. Everybody's playing against them every week. And they're like, oh, all Dallas has to do is win by 14. That should be easy. Only thing about this play is that the Cardinals are home, but it didn't matter last week. I mean, everybody pounded the Giants, you know, even though the Giants were on the road coming off a 40-point loss. So I think that the Cardinals are sort of forced here. Um, Chiefs Bears, very, very strong. You have the Chiefs who are looking pretty good. Um, actually, the first first week they didn't look so good against uh, Detroit, but um, they came back and they all had kind of a very nice defensive game against Jacksonville. Um, they're at home, they're a team people like playing. The Bears, not really a team people like playing, spreads under 14. I think the Bears are pretty pretty solid here as a, as a circle play. Uh, Raiders Steelers again we can't play the Steelers ever again we know this um, and the Raiders uh, you know it's the wrong spread you know if anything I would like the Steelers but we just can't play the Steelers ever in, in surf anymore Eagles minus five over the Bucks. spread is okay I mean again I like it to be six and a half um, but it's five that's okay but but Eagles are on the road so I think the Bucks are sort of in play, but not not near the top of you know the other options I've mentioned so far. I don't think. And Bengals three, uh, no good. All right. Bad spread, you know, push spread. So we we have some candidate plays, and, and I think that it's pretty clear which the top ones are. Uh, what which the top ones are? So I think uh, the Giants tonight are going to be certainly played by me. Uh, Low-owned and also, I mean, it's a low-owned game on Thursday anyway. The Giants look awful, and 49ers are, you know, the the, the more loved team. Let's put it that way. Um, This Broncos play, for sure, six and a half, perfect situation. They look terrible. Panthers, perfect play. Uh, Seattle, very popular team, as we've learned. So I think those are the three for sure. Um, and then the others, again, that we talked about, um, actually there are four, right? No, three. 
So then the others we talked about are maybe the commanders. Oh, and the Cardinals, right? So Cardinals, Panthers, um, Broncos, Giants. And then the fifth one is going to come from the other pool. Either the Bears, that's probably pretty, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. But Bears, maybe the Jets, or maybe the Texans. I'm very, very confident in the in, in, in my approach for this week. I really like this. So again, Giants for sure. You guys can root for them tonight. Cowboys, I mean Cardinals, 100 percent Panthers and Broncos. And I'm gonna on the fence with my fifth. Um that'll do it. Uh good uh, good luck to me and I hope everybody takes uh, the other sides.